Did you miss your way? I wish I did. That way I wouldn't have to ruin my day with the sight of you. I see. Do you hate me that much? Oh yes, I hate you. So much. And the time I look at you, all I want to do is strangle you to death. What do you want? I am here because you are poor. And naturally, poor people are always in dire need of money. I know you want money. And I've come with it. All I might take this money and get rid of that bastard that you claim you're carrying in your womb. And let me state this now, I do not ever want to see you again. I am done with you. And hey, my father, the king, you must not hear about this. If that happens, I can assure you personally that I am going to kill you and kill your mother. Right here is 300,000 Naira. <laughs> I'm sure you will need more than 7,000 to get rid of that bastard that you're carrying. But hey, you're poor. You need money. Take it. And get rid of that thing you're carrying. You don't scare me with your words. I will not terminate this child. Hold on, man. Look at me. I know I look very gentle, but I can assure you that I'll be the most poisonous seed you will ever chew. And I will show you that even the most beautiful fig tree can have worms. <laughs> ah. I will give you two market days to get rid of that nonsense you're carrying. If you don't do it, I'm going to get boys to begin to dig your grave. Because I will kill you myself. I will kill you personally. You myself. better come back and pick your money. Prince Williams. Oh. Prince Williams. Oh. Now. Stealing in this land is a very serious crime with severe consequences and punishments. I cannot excuse such a crime in my palace. Someone went into my bedroom and took away the sum of 300,000 Naira from my briefcase. Which amongst you people did this? Answer me! Now listen to me, all of you. I give the person who took my money three hours, whoever did it, to go and put back the money where she got it and come and confess. Or else, I'll use my own method to find out who did it. And you won't like the consequences because it will be disastrous. No answer. Now I'll leave my sight out of all of you.
Juju! Oh, you scared me. I'm sorry I did. Are you okay? What is it? I'm fine. No, Juju. You are not fine. Look, I know we might not be getting along in this palace. But that does not mean you can't talk to me. What is eating you up? What's the same one for? I said I'm fine. Yes, you said you are fine. But I am telling you that you are not fine. You've been moody throughout today. Could you? Ever since the king announced about the missing money, you've not been yourself. Wait, could you? Did you by any chance know or saw anything about the money? I beg your pardon. Don't bring words out of my mouth, please. No, 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 Uju. Uju is not what you think. I, I didn't mean to say you were the one that stole the money. Look, Uju, you were the one that cleaned His Majesty's room. Maybe you saw the money wrongly kept. Mm. I saw someone. Who? Can I trust you? Talk to me, who did you see? What? Shh! Put your voice down. You, you mean you saw... Why didn't you tell the king about it? I was scared. You know who Prince Williams is? Whoever messes with him is digging his or her grave. That's my fear. In that case, you still do not know what his majesty would do if he finds out that you knew the truth and you hid it from him. Hmm. Would you? If I were you, I would go straight to the king and tell him the truth. Oh. Do you know Prince William has to kill me? Do you need to go and tell the king? No matter what, this baby must see the light of day. Mama, I've already made up my mind not to terminate the baby. Thank God. But... But what? My fear is Prince Williams. The look in his eye is very scary. <laughs> Forget the look in his eyes. Nothing would happen to you. I, your mother, would take care of you. This my niece will be on the ground in prayers for you. All right? <laughs> Thank you, Mama. For nothing. Now I have to change your diet. You'll do more vegetables and fruits. And no more hard work. All Anything right? Anything you say, Mama. <laughs> A lot of prayers. Prayers all the way. A lot of prayers. Do we start now? Yes, Mama. With our Psalm 23. The Lord is our shepherd. Greetings, Your Majesty. Yes, yeah, speak. Are you the one that took my money? You are the one that cleaned my room today, aren't you? Um, yes, Your Majesty. Uh, forgive me. I was about to clean your room this morning. And I saw... I saw... You saw what? Speak before I lose my patience. Father, why am I being escorted by the guards like a comma? 
What is going on, Father? William. Father. I'm going to ask you this once. And I'm asking you not as your father, but as your king. Where is the money you stole from my briefcase? something I need to tell you. Something very important. I am sorry I hid it from you. What is it? <laughs> this maiden Olama, daughter of the late preacher, is pregnant for the prince and the prince threatened to kill the girl should she keep the pregnancy or in any way let you know about it something so delicate and serious as this and deemed it fit to withhold it from me? Oh no, why? How can you do such a thing? If I had known this, I would not have let the prince travel out this morning. Ha! Huh? I am sorry for not telling you, Your Highness. But do you mean to say that the prince has left the country? Yes. This is a disaster. Fear not, Ifechi. The king sent me in peace. And 
that's how it all happened. Hmm. Well, Amma, I must commend your courage to stand against him and refuse to terminate the pregnancy. But you should have come to the king instead. Uh, no. We were wanted to, but you know it's not easy getting to the king. Besides, the prince had told her to abort the child. And we were afraid of what his reaction would be if we had come to the palace to tell him that the child is still there. So we, we decided that we will bring up the child ourselves. Hmm. That's wisdom. You know, it is said that there is no comparison between that which is not lost by succeeding and that which is not lost by not trying. Uh, <clears throat> you should have tried. But all the same, I want to commend you for that singular act of keeping the child. In fact, the king promised that he will take the full responsibility of the child and also perform the traditional rites of you becoming the prince's wife. Huh? That is, if you wish to marry him. <laughs> hey, oh no. Please, please send our appreciation to the king. We, we, we appreciate his graciousness, his, his kindness. He, he's everything. <laughs> and one more thing. Yes. Whenever you need anything, don't hesitate to come and tell him. He's ready to support you financially in any way. <laughs> no, thank you. Thank you so much, you know. I'm speechless. Thank you. Oh, down, down. Great, great Igwe, please. <laughs> thank you. What do we offer you? I have one, one old piece of meat that has been by the uh, fire. Ibeji. It's not rotten. Eh? I know. Don't bother. <laughs> I am fine. What have I done to myself? Huh? Telling Igwe about that girl's pregnancy so he can stop the prince from traveling. Now the table. Now the table has turned upside down. Hey, so that poor dirty girl is about to become a queen in this land. Mbana. Eh? So what is my gain now? What is my gain? What is it now? Won't you have rest of mine in my own father's house again? Eh? Why are you just making noise up and down? Eh? Me Amadjoa! What's that your tongue? Yes, I believe. But please, when when next you want to soliloquize, just gently enter your room so that I can have rest of my maternal organ. Hey, baby, I'm not here! What kind of child is this? Uh, are you sure I'm the one that gave birth to this idiot? Are you? I'm not here. So you accepted to marry the prince after what he has done to you? Chisom, I did not accept to marry the prince just because I love him. But because my son, my child, needs a father. You can hand them the child and go on with your life. God forbid. God forbid that another woman will raise my child while I'm still alive. I was just saying that. Can you just stop? Stop. God knows that this child is everything to me. It's okay. Everything will be fine. I have to hurry up now and make food for her. Alright, I'll, I'll see you later. You too. Take Thank care of you. yourself. You too. And take care of that baby. I will. Yeah, you Say hi to your mom for okay, me as well.
I have already instructed the guards. They will take you to his school and bring you back. Thank you, Your Highness. You never cease to amaze me with your kindness. Sometimes I feel I'm failing in some of my responsibilities. Kelechi is my first grandson and soon to be the crown prince of this land. So he deserves the best of everything. Your Highness, you are doing everything. Yes. Look at Kelechi. He attends the best school in this region. Mm -hmm. He dresses well. He looks good. All because of you. Thank you, Your Highness. Thank you. I think you should start going now. Thank you, see you All right. Bye. Look after Kelechi well. I will. <laughs>
Nas, where is the boy? I will ask you this, just once. Where is the boy? you hear me? Eh? When you were lost at the uh, Amok uh, Mountains, tell me what are you thinking about? Mama, I had the most scary dream last night. What happened? My mouth cannot contain the quantity of joy I have in my heart and cannot express it fully. Because today is a special day, a great day in the life of this family, our kingdom, our ancient community. Because today is the day that marks the return of the crown prince, the heir to this throne on which I sit. After a surgeon for a long period in the white man's land, where well, we sent him to acquire some of the white man's knowledge and education so that he can come back prepared 
could be a better king than I have been. So you're most welcome. Igwe. <laughs> Igwe. Your Highness. Everyone in this, our kingdom of Umoma, knows that you are a great king and a father to us. And we are most grateful that you are preparing our crown prince in a modern way so he can lead our people and continue the good legacy which you have left behind. Yes. <laughs> Your Majesty, who know who is right. And that is why all through the night I couldn't sleep because I was eagerly waiting for the day to break yeah. and behold our oh, crown yeah. prince. <laughs> <laughs> Where your Highness? Our future king. <laughs> Where your Highness? You see, Dozier is right. Because he came to my place at the third crop. Oh, at that time, you were already. Oh, <laughs> that means you too were waiting for the day to break. That's a great thing. Your Highness, it is only a man who Amadio had blessed with madness will not know what a day today is in our kingdom. Uh, well, you're most welcome. <sighs> it's all right, my daughter. Everything will be all right, especially since you cancelled the dream with prayers in the night. Don't worry, nothing will happen to you. Mama, I need to go visit Kelechi. I need to be sure that he's fine. But it's not the visiting day. Uh, besides, the prince will be coming back from Denmark today. And the king wants to host him. I mean, have a big party for him. Are you not going to be there? Mama, I don't care if he returns or not. All I care about is the well-being of my son. Mama, that dream still scares me. I need to be sure that my son is doing good. But... Considering the rules and regulations of the school, do you think they would allow you to see him? I'll have to give it a try. I need to be sure that my son is doing well. In the dream, I was with him before I got hit. Then all of a sudden, I couldn't find him anymore. And none of us in the dream could tell where he was. Mama, I am worried. I need to go see Kelechi. Oh, I, I guess it's understandable. Well, Yejin, if you have to be Yejin. But I promise you one thing. He's going to be all right. Our prayers mm -hmm. can't be in vain, eh? Mm -hmm. So what did you prepare for breakfast? <laughs> I'll go get you something, Mama. Don't wait. Mm. Now, oh no. Uh, your Highness. I would like you to go along with the children to the airport to bring back the prince. Ah, uh, it's here, does he? He will stay here with me and help put the final touches to the preparation for the banquet, for his reception. Yeah. Um, oh, Odima, Your Highness, when is the flight arriving? Oh, 1.45 p.m. they told me. In that case, we should start going now so that we can meet up with him. Yeah, the girls have been instructed and they know what to do. They'll take good care of you. Oh, it's your corner. Okay. Let's start going. Uh, the journey is a bit far yeah. <laughs> so that we can meet up. Uh, <laughs>
gathered here today. We have come to welcome back my son, Prince William of Omuwama land, who has been abroad for many years and is due to come back to Omuwama kingdom today. I have just received a call that they are already on their way here. And as I speak to you, he will be arriving very soon. Good luck. Yeah. 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 
them to get to this palace. Yes. Mama. Since you came back from Kelechi's house, you've been all gloomy. Maybe you should get ready and go and enjoy with them at the palace. God forbid. Hey, God forbid, Mama. God forbid that I dine with those vultures. But all Lama people change. And Prince William is no different. I mean, three years in a foreign land would have molded him into a better person. Mama. Mama, you forget that the zebra always goes everywhere with his stripes. Do you still love him? What you have to do for the day to welcome me. It is so humbling. Thank you. It feels good to be back home. It feels good to be back. Home. <laughs> 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 
very bright and the birds of the air are happy for what they call tennis. How was your night? Oh very well father, how was yours? Ah, well. Bless the gods of our ancestors for their benevolence. Son, when are you going to see your child and his mother? Uh, Father, our driver will talk about other matters. No, son. Olamma is a factor you must always think of. She has your child, your first seed. So you must brace yourself now to take full responsibility over them. So, 
Go and see her. You know where she lives. I'm afraid, Father, that is not going to happen. I was just coming to your house. Ah. I didn't see you at the palace yesterday. Palace? Yes. Was I supposed to be at the palace? Ah. Stop the sarcasm. You want to tell me you didn't know the prince returned yesterday? Yeah. Eh. And I didn't know I had to be at the palace for the prince to return to his father's house. I see you are still angry at the prince. That's not the point. I had so much fun yesterday. There was enough to eat, to drink. Hey, you missed. Mm. <laughs> ah, thank you for the news. Did they also share money? Oh, yeah. mm. uh, they didn't share money, but there was enough to eat and drink. Mm. I don't have food in my house. I'm hungry. Mm. Please, just um, I was on my way to go get kilichi drugs. Don't tell me about kilichi. Uh, Is he not in school? My dear, I went to see him yesterday and he was pretty down. So he's receiving malaria treatment. Uh, mm. I now I go. know why you were not at the palace. Chisum, I need to run. You can come to the house later. No problem. I'll come around for. Bye bye. Oh, yeah. Take care of yourself. Showed up after. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> babe. Welcome. Thank you. Um, oh. You showed up, huh? Yeah, I knew you would kneel me on the cross. Should I disappoint you? I'm glad that you know what I am capable of. Because huh? now we do miss. <laughs> You're welcome to the palace. Thank you. <laughs> Good afternoon, my daughter. Hope you are feeling entertained. Very well, your highness. Uh, Dad, I need Miss Tracy. Please. Uh, you were taking a nap when she came in. Um, she's the daughter of Tony Bob, Nigeria's ambassador to Denmark. Oh. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, Sam, well, we need to have a little chat. So maybe Tracy can excuse us for a moment. Uh, yes. Okay. Thank you, Your Highness. Entertain your friend, but send her back. 
She is not welcome in this palace. All Lama is a maiden from this kingdom whom you will take as a wife. Hmm. Uh, Father, it's not going to happen. I'm not going to marry that witch. It will not happen. You call her a witch now? Yet, you put her in the family way. You made her pregnant. Hola. Hola. Chisum. Welcome. What is wrong with you? Nothing. I'm fine. Ah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> How are you? My friend. Huh? I totally understand what you're going through. 
you don't have to let it worry you. Whatever happened between you two is in the past now. So you shouldn't let his thoughts disturb you. Chisum, I still love him. He's the only man that I've ever known. I love him even though he broke my heart. He's still the father of my child. Then you should have gone for his welcome party. At least your presence would have brought back memories to him. Chisum, mm -mm. no. Although I still love him, but I'm still scared of what he might do, knowing that I did not abort the child as he threatened. <sighs> to tell you the truth, you have every right to be worried. But I know that God will make you way, and everything will be all right. Huh? Sure. Thank you. Let me help you with this. So. Hurry up, I'll meet you. Okay. Smile. <laughs> Hey babe, what are you doing all by yourself? I've been sitting so lonely at the garden. <laughs> um, nothing. I just like to sit out here sometimes, you know. You know, for me, this place comes with a lot of memories. I used to sit out here a lot with my mother. So each time I come here, It sort of brings me closer to her. You and your mom must have been so close. Extremely close. It's okay, babe. I understand how you feel. I'm sure wherever she is now, she'll be so happy that you've gone back to be with your father again. And I know I won't be able to take her place, but I promise I'll try my best to make sure you don't miss her that much again. Okay? You know I love you, right? Thank you, Tracy. I am confident that you're going to do a decent job. Yeah, sure, babe. You can trust me. I love you too, you know. I love you so much. That is why you're here, as I love you. Babe, what do you mean? And when is that young woman leaving? Father, why is it that every time I, I, I choose to spend time with you so that we can bond? You spoil it. When did I ever agree with you that Tracy would be leaving? Leave for who, by the way? Look for who? That village girl called Olama? No, Dad. No. William. Olama is your wife. And nobody else. That is a fact. That why is Olama so special? What makes her special? Can you not see that I don't love her? I don't love her that I'm not going to marry her. You cannot invite the locusts to a feast and then blame them for ravaging that which gives them joy. Apart from that, by tradition, it is taboo for a king or a prince to have a child or children outside wedlock. Secondly, the day you brought the baby Olama to me, I was seated on the throne of my ancestors in the presence of the gods, and they were witnesses. To do anything apart from decisions taken on that day will raise the wrath of the gods, and surely, you don't want to dare the gods of this land, William, do you? Every time the gods, the gods, the gods, the gods, father. What do the gods have to do with who I choose to marry? William, I've made it crystal clear. Allah is your wife and nobody else. And what happened? That is 
It's total nonsense. It won't happen. I won't do it. Hmm. Son. Hallucinations. Are a fact. Not an error. The error is basing judgment on it. Do not base your judgment on hallucinations, son. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Greetings to you, Olama. Uh, greetings. I hope all is well. Yes, all is well. His Highness requests your presence and that of the young prince to the palace. Mm. What a man. But as you can see, I'm trying to feed him. We will come as soon as we are done. Or would you like to wait? Yes, I'd rather wait. Oh, okay. Feel at home. Greetings, Your Highness. May your days be longer than that of the Oguru season. Greetings, my daughter. May your days outlast the Oguru season. Thank you. Ah, how is my little grandson? He's doing fine. Too. Bring him, let me touch him. <laughs> oh, yes. Hello. hello. How are you today? Hi. Ooh, nice, fine boy. <laughs> Please sit down. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Oh. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, no. Greetings. Uh, uh, he's all right, my dear. Uh, so, how are you doing? I'm fine, no. <laughs> yeah. Go and tell the maiden that attended to my son, William. Tell her I'd like to see her here. Yeah. So, hello. Young prince in waiting. <laughs> <laughs> my daughter. Yes, your highness. Do you love my son, William? Yes, your highness. I love him very much. Did he tell you that he has a son and a woman who are both waiting for him to come back to this country? Did he tell you that? No, Your Highness. He never told me anything like that. But, Your Highness, that he has his son doesn't mean we can't go on. What matters is that we love each other very much. And I don't mind taking the son as mine. And I would take good care of him. My daughter, you don't seem to understand. If not for anything else, I would love to have you as my daughter-in-law because of your background. But I can't. Because tradition forbids it. Tradition compels the prince to marry the woman who bears his first son. And I cannot go against the tradition. Otherwise, if he doesn't do that, he will invoke the wrath of the gods. 
we cannot go against the will of the gods. I don't wish you to have to live a life here that we'll regret later. So, I'll advise you, my daughter, to go back to your father, because my son is already taken by tradition. Okay, Your Highness. Thank you very much. I'm going back to Abuja, and from there I'll fly back to Denmark. What are you talking about? Crazy. We didn't plan for this. Why did something change? What is happening? We don't need to plan this. I'm not a prisoner. And I can go whenever I want. Okay. I can't tell you're upset about something. Calm down. Alright? Calm down. The best stop. Just please sit down. Please. 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 like you don't know. Your dad told me everything. I thought you loved me. You have a woman and a son. And the tradition demands that you get married to her. So, what am I doing here? What do you take me for? A sex toy or what? No, you're not a sex toy. I need you to ignore my father. He gets that way sometimes. He just likes to, you know. Oh, please, cut the crap. Don't even drag him into this. That man is a good man. Who wants nothing but good for his son? You know what? I forgive you. But there's no way I'm staying. So I'm leaving. Please don't go. And don't even try to stop me. You're the one that I love. I don't love that woman. I'm leaving. Don't leave. And I can't stay here. I don't have any place here. Prince William, did you miss your way? I wish I did. That way I wouldn't have to ruin my day with the sight of you. I see. Do you hate me that much? Oh yes, I hate you. So much. And the time I look at you, all I want to do is strangle you to death. I hate you. Wow. Well, since you despise me that much, why are you here? Because I can't remember if I tell you. Where is that bastard son of yours? Where is he? Prince Williams, you will not come into my house and call my son a bastard. And what if I do? Call a ma. What if I do? What are you going to do? Huh? Williams, leave my house. Did you just address me as William? The crown prince of this land, the next king of this land. You call me by my first name? Huh? Please, Prince Williams. 
I beg you in the name of whatever it is you respect, leave my house. No! I won't leave. Where is he? Where is my son? Where have you kept him? Yeah, you, you call him my son, right? My son. Why would I have to beg? Eh? Huh? To see him. Where have you kept him? Where is he? Huh? Why are you hiding that boy? Is there something I should know? Huh? Is there something that you're not telling us? Why are you hiding him? Why are you keeping him from me? Huh? What are you talking about? I'll tell you what I'm talking about. The royal family have decided that you'll have to bring that boy to the palace for a DNA test. That way we are sure he's my son. That way we are sure that he's royalty and you just did not open your legs for some village laborer and you're trying to force him on me. That's why I'm here. We just leave my house. No, I would not leave. All I'm uh, two days. Bring that boy for DNA test in two days. If you do not, <laughs> Ah! Uh, uh, two days! Or else! <laughs> oh, no. oh, no. oh, no. oh, no. Mama, I understand. I know you told me not to allow Prince William to come close to my son. But he was here today, asking for a DNA test to ascertain his paternity. You should not trust him. Prince William is not to be trusted. You of all people should know that. You've known from the onset that that boy, or rather man, Prince, cannot be trusted. He doesn't mean anything uh, uh, good for this boy. Yes, and you know, as long as Kelechi is alive, Prince William cannot marry any other woman but you. Well, I don't think so. I don't think he will want to harm his own son. Okay. Besides, I think it's high time he knows the truth. Maybe it will make him behave well. If you say so, Onya Kambu, but me, I cannot trust him. And you shouldn't. Mama, it will be fine. Our God will protect him. But we should also protect him as human beings. Eh? Everything will be okay. Um, Prince Williams. You asked I see you here, instead of the palace. I hope all is well. I wanted solitude. It is a serious matter. Okay. Go ahead. Take it. What? That is two million naira. I want the test results for the DNA tests to come back negative. Please, um, with all due respect, my prince, it is against the ethics of my job. Besides, your father, the, the king, is involved in this. I can't lie to him. I'll make it five million. I need the DNA test results to come back negative. You will do it. You must do it. I'd advise that you be prudent and take that money as an advance payment. Remember, refusal to do this would come with consequences. Take the money and go.
Yeah, boss. Sorry, we lost them. I don't know how, I don't know how. We just lost them. I, I'm, 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 I'm very, very sorry. I'm very, very sorry. I'm sure we're going to make it up to you, please. I'm sorry. to the parish. Okay. I had a terrible nightmare last night. Ah, really? Okay, why don't you come inside? Let's go back to your house and talk about it. Okay. Okay. Just okay. come in. Thank you, Father. All right. So, Mama, you have to stay safe until the doctor brings the result. And then I can take you to the palace and ask the king for your immunity. That's great. Thank you so much, Father. You're welcome. Thank you. Sir. You're welcome. Um, and while you stay safe, I want you to devote your time to prayers and ask God for his directions. We'll do exactly that, Father. All right. Thank you. I shall be on my way now. Let's pray. <laughs> Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. May the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Peace be with you. And you too, Father. Thank you so much. I think um, we should do exactly what the Father has said. I agree, Mama. Mama, please, I want to go inside and rest my head for a while. Okay, sure. Baby, come. Baby, baby. <laughs> Doctor. Johannes. I hope this result has no mistakes in it. I hope it is a hundred percent correct. Johannes. I am certain. This result is authentic. Yes. That's good. At least William will now accept his responsibility as a father. Thank you, Your Highness. I will take my leave now. I have some patients I want to attend to. Very much. Thank you, Your Highness. Uh, what are you doing here? Did I not tell you not to give the results first to my father? Son, father. Now that the DNA results are here, that puts an end to this matter and settles the issue was a fraud. With this result and the recent attempts on the lives of mother and child, I hear my decree. That a lama and his son will come and live in this palace. On 
until the day you are prepared to carry out the marriage rites. And mind you, until that is done, you will not sit at this table. Father. No. You can't threaten me like that. No, you can't tie me to this thing. No, Father. It's not right. I've already done so. Alan, I believe you endured a lot, but it is now coming to an end. I will send the royal guards to come bring your things along with Pillage. Father, Father, it's me, Olamma. Yes, Father. Father, please, I need you to do me a favor. Yes, please. Please, I need you to help me get Kalichi from the house and help me bring him to the palace. Father, this, the king said he will send his guards, but Father, I'm worried. I'm scared. I heard the prince making some funny phone calls and I don't want to happen to my son. Yes, Father. Thank you very much, Father. Yes, thank you. Okay. Bye.
Where is the boy? When I got into the house, it was empty. For God's sake! You sabi lie. You sabi lie. I didn't see anybody. I can't lie to you. I can't lie to you. I didn't see anybody. You don't want to tell me the truth, right? That's the truth. Hello, boss. The idiot said he did not see the little boy. Yes.
Force all Allah on the prince. What is he going to do? When I heard about it, I was so happy. Because no one is bigger than tradition. <laughs> Although I know he's not happy about it, but he has no choice. He will gather that anti fire wound, cause the lizard for a feast. That's why they say love for man, not man for love. I'm happy for her. See, I just yeah. pray she's nice to us. I hope so. The both of you should try and leave gossip so that gossip will leave you. There's enough work to be done already and all you choose to do is gossip? My God! So you think that you can bewitch my father and have him foresee you on me? <laughs> welcome to my home. And welcome to hell. Oh, I am going to make your life difficult. I am going to make you so miserable in this house that you will know that a lizard's love for a cracked house does not make it the owner. I will take your life away. My daughter. You said you wanted to have a discussion with me. Please. Yes, what is it? Yes, Your Highness. I have given this a thought. And I have decided that it is best for me, my son, not to marry the prince. I don't think I can cope anymore. Hmm. My daughter. For you to say something like this, Prince William must have been very hard on you. Father, I have decided to marry Olamma. I have given this a thought, Father, and it is apparent that marrying her shall bring peace to this household. William. Are you serious or is this one of your usual pranks? My grandfather is no mischief. I have decided to stop chasing shadows, fighting my mind. But yield to what my soul needs. Mm -hmm. All I'm is what my soul needs. I'll be leaving your blessing. Are you trying to poison me? I beg your pardon? Are you trying to poison me? I have told you countless times to stay away from the things that I eat. Have I not? Yes. I'm your wife. What is wrong with me preparing your meals? It is not your responsibility. We have domestic staff in the palace. 
Let them handle it. Stop with the busybody. He's not going to endear me to you. Never. It will not happen. You've always wanted to be part of royalty. Now you're married to a prince. Why don't you just enjoy the title and leave me alone, Alamba? I hate you. Can you not sit? Stay off my lane. Why do you hate me this much? I don't know. I can't help it, but I just hate you. It's effortless. Get out. Hola. I foresaw this. That was why I was trying to convince you to move on with your life. I know. But you saw, Prince William is the only man that I have ever known. I love him so much that I don't even know how to leave. The love you have for him, is it worth the torture you receive? It is said that evil requires the sanction of a man. And I agree, because you sanction whatever you're passing through. I agree too. But he's whom he was afraid to love. He's already half dead. For love is the essential reason for living. You speak of love. God is love. And he understands that love cannot be false. It is a thing of free will. Ola. Prince Williams does not love you. Yes, and you know it. Ola, you're a very beautiful woman. Why are you wasting your life on him? I do not want to see you at the palace again. Okay. Stop coming there to see all of me. Why would I do that? Because I have said so. Because if you question my authority, there will be dire consequences. Your friend Olama wants to be queen, and I'm going to make her queen, but a very lonely queen. No friends, no visitors. Her world will be very lonely. Chisum, if you stop by the palace again, I am going to shoot you. And nothing will happen.
Let me tell you a secret. One of the reasons why I am so kind to you is because I see a lot of his mother in you. The woman with a strong will. A will that does not yield easily to pressure once he knows what he truly wants. Understand when it did it become an offense to be seen with the king? All of my don't upset me, so I don't stick my fingers in your eyes. I saw you talking to my son, both of you talking. What were you two talking about? I need to know. I see. Prince Williams, you're probably afraid that um, I must have told the king how you've been mistreating me, right? Oh, please come off it. Nothing like that happened. Alama, uh, you will not walk out on me! Alama! Ha! Ah! <laughs> this girl is asking for trouble! Where are you coming from? 
Williams. Yes. Uh, please, Williams. I am not in the mood. You didn't tell me that I'm also a prisoner in this palace. What if you wish to know? I went to visit my sister. On whose permission? So you left the palace without my permission to go plot your witch of a mother have killed me. Huh? Let's go! Stop! You want to be the queen, right? You found a way to get yourself into this palace. I am going to show you the true meaning of loneliness. And next time you leave this place without my permission, I am going to put you in a cage. Try me. Kelechi called yesterday ah. and he said he'll be coming back in two days time. Ah, that's wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> Can't wait to see him. <laughs> you don't know how much I miss that boy. Uh, I, know. <laughs> I know. You two are fond of each other. Yes, you can say that again. But anyways, he's coming back soon and this time he won't be leaving. That's good. Mm -hmm. Ah. <laughs> I will arrange a feast for him. <laughs> that would be nice. Oh, uh, yes. You'll be excited. Kelechi. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. <laughs> Oh, nice oh, this looks good. <laughs> hey, I miss, I miss this moment. <laughs> <laughs> How have you been? I'm good. Welcome, you look nice. <laughs> welcome, welcome. Come on, oh, come yes. on, come on. Let's go inside. Oh, <laughs> okay, how you doing, Daddy? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> come on, let's, let's get a shot. <laughs> Since, since I came in, I've not seen my dad. Oh, mm -hmm. <laughs> he went for an important meeting. I'm sure he'll soon be back. Uh, okay, mm -hmm. don't worry, son. You'll see him soon enough. Now that you're back, come in this. Oh, thank you, Dad. <laughs> thank you, Granddad. Um, I, I miss I miss you guys so much. We miss you too. I miss you guys. <laughs> We've all missed you too. <laughs> thank you, young. This food is so delicious. <laughs> huh? <clears throat> Made for you. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Mom. <laughs> I'm not dreaming about your food. You can't you can get this outside. <laughs> I can see it. Oh.
Whoa. My son. Ah. Nice. Yeah. Mm. I like your time. Are you going out? Yes. Uh, I want to quickly take a walk around. Uh, to nowhere in particular. I just want to take the sightseeing around. I've missed this kid though. <laughs> I, I understand. You should. Yes. Um, but please, hope you're going out with the guards. Oh. No. Why? I'm a grown man now, Mom. And I can take care of myself. I understand that you're a grown man. But you need to allow them to do their job. Besides, that's what they're being paid for. And it's for your own security. Okay, if you insist. Yes, <laughs> I insist. <laughs> and by the way, I'll, I'll stop by and see Grandma. I got some stuff for her. Mom? Is everything okay? I, I talked about Grandma and your content has changed. Is she okay? Son, your grandmother passed away last year. I'm sorry. Why, why did you not tell yes. me? I didn't want to distract you from schoolwork. So painful. It was. Oh, father. Uh, son. See, see, <laughs> I miss you. Where are you headed? Uh, just stick <laughs> around around the kingdom. Uh, see <laughs> my friends, you know. It is fine. Uh, I know I haven't had time for you. Don't mind me. I have been busy lately. But I assure you that by the time you return, I'll be here. Thank yeah. you, dear. Have fun. Thank you very much. Mom? Uh -huh. Thank you. Okay. Uh -huh. Don't forget to go with the guards. Okay, okay, okay Mom. <laughs> Listen to me, I am a king. And I need him know I am a king the next time. As a matter of fact, henceforth, anytime you see me, wherever you see me, you address me as a king. Mbano. Aro! I can't do that. I am a son of this land. And it is taboo for me to call you a king while your father, the king, is still alive. Is that so? Hi! Call me Prince one more time when you see me and you see what I'll do to you. That will be your last day here on earth. What are you doing here? Your father, the king, gives me this land. I don't care who I look at this thing. Now, my prince. Uh, sorry. Your Highness, if you don't leave this place right now, go to get in the I'm going to go back and stand there. Go landing for two lovers one day. You have yourself go. You have yourself go. Come on, get, get, get out. It's your, it's your, get, 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 get out. 
Now, your 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 it is either the spirit that made her mad is there or the one that will save her is there what is that thing that is beating the drum, drum of madness the prince william no whatever it is will never stop yes since he derives pleasure in inflicting pains so shall pain cleave in his household. Mbamba, Biko, it has not gotten to that, my son. Please, I think I have to inform the Igwe about it. It is not too late. Please. No, it is too late. It is too late or no? God! I want you to get the youth together. Tell them to gather at the village square. Hmm? I am coming there to address them. Dear Majesty, the disabled bomb does not know where his wife should serves. A journey to the stream does not count when the pot is full or when the pot is empty. Your Majesty, without mincing words, Prince William is desecrating our land and the name of this royal household. Here! Yeah. Father, I don't understand. No quite more. What have I done now? You know, I think I'm going to have to place a ban on you. Yes, I'll tell them at the entrance of the palace not to allow you come here again. Yes. Because I don't understand. Every time you come here, you come here with some bogus postulation that does not make any sense. How can you sit there and say that I am desecrating the royal household? Because I'm asking, what is rightfully mine? What have I done? You wish to bring the curse upon yourself. Why do you want to rule this land? Is it in that sense? Father, it is very simple. Since we're all seated here, we might as well address the issue. The bone of contention is that you have been sitting on that throne for too long. Okay. Oh, yes, Father. I have waited for that throne. For too long. Because of this throne, Father, I was not allowed to live freely as a growing young man. Because of this throne, I could not do the things that I really wanted to do. You constantly told me, William, you are king. Act like one. Stand up straight. Because someday you are going to be sitting on that throne as a king. Father, have you suddenly become like our politicians who constantly tell us that we're leaders of tomorrow and they are still in power even as you and I speak? Father, because of that same throne, my love life was brought to peril. I was forced by you and your orders in council to marry a woman that I am not in love with. My life is on hold because of this throne. Father, can you not see it? So what, Father? So what? If I rule while you're still alive, Father, so what? For how long, Father, I, am I going to wait for you to join your ancestors so that I can become king? Father, what if I die waiting for you to die? <laughs> Father, you have been king for too long. And I'm saying that it's high time you stepped down so that I can take that which belongs to me. That throne you are sitting on is my throne. As a matter of fact, Father. You're old and weak, too old to sit to the administration of Omo Oma. I don't care how you do it. 
dead or alive, Father. Get out. I need to be king. Dead or alive, Father. Please, William. Will you shut that your mouth? How dare you talk to your father the king in such manner? Are you out of your mind? Hey. Even in your hour. Um, oh no. Because I beg you in the name of that little shrine that you worship in your compound to address me one more time by the title of an ordinary prince. And I assure you that before nightfall, your manhood will be chopped off. Ono will try me. Ono will try me. Try me. William! So you wish me dead? You wish me dead, William? I curse you this day. I, as you do the second of woman land. May the gods remove the crown of kingship entirely from your presence. You will never be king. I curse you. Just as you wish to sit on my throne in my presence, so will you live to see your son wear the crown. May the gods make this word pass, and they will pass. You will be a slave in this land. I, as you do the second of Omo Wabanan, I have spoken. Um, Father, you see, um, those are just my words, and I really am not moved by them. What I am saying is that you're sitting on the throne. That is my entitlement. Father, get out of the throne and let me rule. Enough is enough. That is why we are here. Father, if you do not die, I can help you die. Chimu. Enough is enough. Eh? I have spoken my mind. I'm out of this place. Chia! kingdom. Your Highness. No, you are not only the Anohu and traditional prime minister of this kingdom, but you are also my right hand man. <coughs> Sorry, your hands. Sorry. Yes. You are my right hand man and confidant. <coughs> So, I'm asking you to carry out these words of mine because I believe the end is near. Highness. It is perhaps even at hand. So, I want you to make sure... <coughs> sorry, Your Highness. Sorry. <coughs> yeah. Sorry. Sorry. No. Uh, to make sure that you prepare Kelechi. Kelechi. To be crowned as soon as I am God. Not William. No. Not William, <coughs> because I have cursed him. William is cursed. He will he will never be king in the Umuwoma kingdom. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> Maybe 
make sure Kaleji ascends the throne after me. <sighs> Prepare him well. <sighs> this is my last testament and my last instructions to you. So give me your truth, your promise that you will carry out these instructions, you know. I will, Your Majesty. I will. Yes. I will. Yes. So, I just be my last decree. Yeah. Your Highness. I, okay. Your Highness. Okay. Your Highness. Okay. Your Highness. Okay. Life, they say, is a struggle within ourselves. It is a tug of war between moving forward and slipping backward, between happiness and misery. When virtue is lost, benevolence appears. When benevolence is lost, right conduct appears. When right conduct is lost, expedience appears. Expedience is the mere shadow between right and wrong. It is the beginning of this order. We all have seen what happened. And the barrier of our king, Ezodo, is over. My fellow elders, it is time for us to move on with our lives. What do you suggest in this case of Prince William? Well, uh, Onu, you have spoken well. But the fact remains that Prince William is the next person in line to ascend the throne. That is no, no. He's under a curse. At our very eyes, his father, our late king, cursed him. Eh? So how is he supposed to ascend the throne as the next in line? Sana ajuku oha, ajuju, kain waji wa huje. We all know. Still, he's the next person for the throne. In that case, I suggest we invite the chief priest. He is the only one that can tell us what to do now. <clears throat> Life is the most difficult exam many fail because they try to copy others and not realizing that everyone has a different question paper and we are not given a bad or good uh, life from Oseblowa. We are given a life, but it's up to us either to be good or bad. Ichie. 
I must say that your opening speech threw us off. Because I believe that the reason we're all gathered here is to decide when I'm going to be crowned king since my father has joined his ancestors. I do not understand why we are suddenly taking lectures on morals. Oh no. It has been four weeks since my father died. The throne is vacant. The people need a king. What date are we choosing for my coronation as king? You are right, my prince. But we must hear from the chief priest first before the coronation date is fixed. Prince Williams, you cannot be crowned the king of this kingdom. The gods have rejected you. <laughs> it's only a foolish partridge that think itself a peacock. Only a foolish vulture that doesn't know the shame in its name. The kingship of this kingdom has been given to your son, Galechi. Galechi, you must choose yourself a wife between now and 40 days. Yes, for on the 40th day, Shall the girls assemble to bless your reign? As you desired to rule over your father as a king while he was still alive, so shall you live to watch your son rule over you as a king. Yes, all things being in one. Kelechi, you must get ready. No! Hey! Ha <laughs> ha! Chief is enough! That is preposterous! No! Cut I am nonsensical what you have just said! Chippist is absurd! I don't accept it! Elders in council tell this Chippist that what he has said you will not accept! Tell the gods! They lie! Prince Williams has said that they lie! They lie! They lie! They lie! They lie! No one, no man, dead or alive shall take that which belongs to me! This throne is my inheritance! This throne! It's my best wife! No one! Tell them! That is a lie! Hey! Fast and warm with her! It is a lie! They lie! Fast and warm with her! They lie! Prince Williams, you do not speak blasphemy of the gods. Otherwise, you should get ready to challenge the gods to a duel. Prince Kalechi. Get ready to ascend this throne. You have 40 days. You have 40 days to ascend this throne. And no man, no mortal man can stop you. The gods have spoken. I love you. Love. Mm -hmm. Don't you think this whole idea is a bad one? I beg your pardon? This kingship thing, Mom. Dad is still alive and I'm meant to be ruler of this kingdom. <laughs> it didn't go. Son, one thing you must know is that the way of the gods are not the ways of men. And this land belongs to the gods. They see the heart of everybody. And if they have decided that you will be the king of this kingdom and not your father, you need to stop making a fool out of their decision. But mom, I'm, I'm, I'm not saying they are not wise. All I'm saying is I, I do not want a catastrophe to befall this household. I have, I have this strong feeling that dad is not happy about everything going on around us right God now. God forbid it. My son, God forbid it. Nothing will ever happen to this household. Listen, I 
am your mother. And I will never deceive you. Okay? All you need to do right now is get yourself a wife. Yes. And I will advise you on that face. Instead of looking for one of these maidens during the dance contest to make a wife, why don't you look for a woman of your own that you like? As long as she's from this kingdom. Uh, but, but mom, don't you think 40 days is quite a short time to, to meet a maiden and get married to her? What time do I have to get to know her? Her personality, her lifestyle. I understand, my son. But you see, according to the traditions of this land, when you meet the woman you want to marry, okay. within the 40 days, she'll come stay in the royal house for 10 days. 10 days? Yes. Where we'll watch her and her attitude. And then she will serve the royal family for maybe for a couple of days. We'll separately watch her, okay? Mm. You have nothing to worry about. Okay, I am here for you, son. Okay? I feel relieved. <laughs> Thank so, you, Bo. Come on, let's finish up. You see why I like being around you all the time. <laughs> <It might be. laughs> Remind these elders that have suddenly forgotten our traditions that they can not crown my son king while I'm still alive. How is that even possible? Oh no, does that make sense? <laughs> eh? My prince, life is just one of those things you take as it comes. It might be good to you one day, bad the other. What are you doing? But you out? love it so much, so cherish it. Get it fair now, what are you saying? This is the decision of the gods. How? And we cannot change it. I don't understand. I myself have wronged the gods. Even though you thought I was doing it for you. But I was equally doing it for my own selfish reason. But those years have gone by. I have made amends and reconciled with the gods and never to go against their wish. My friends, I will advise you to go home and embrace a new dawn. Oh no. So you have deceived. Oh no, I am in this mess right now because I trusted you through the years. Oh no, you are the only friend that I had, my confidant, my right hand man. And at a time like this, when I need you to speak up the most, hey, you tell me this. <laughs> oh no, if these people go ahead to calculate my son, King, while I'm still alive, you are going down with me. My prince, do not incur the wrath of the gods. Oh no. Us. Try not to incur my wrath first. Mm. Speak up now or I will take your life. <laughs> if you continue to search for what happiness consists of, you will never live. If you are looking for the meaning of life, do not incur the wrath of the gods upon yourself. I know you cannot win with the gods. What he wants is what he goes for. What he wants is what he gets for. He will never give up. He will never give up. He's The day is bright, peaceful, and beautiful. Reminds me of how life is supposed to be. <laughs> how are you doing, son? I'm fine, father. And Father, I'm, I'm really sorry about what happened at the throne room the other day. There's nothing, believe me. No. And I know you must feel really bad about the whole situation and everything. Yeah, <laughs> you know that I haven't had the time to... 
to sit. Thank you, Father. And have a conversation with you. And that is because I have you rolling around, chasing shadows. <laughs> Not knowing that the gods have their own plans. Uh, mm. You have grown, Kelechi. And in 14 days, you're going to be sitting on that throne. I know you need me. But I also want you to stay focused. For I give you my word as your father that I am going to be here to support you as you ascend that throne. <laughs> Dad? Yes? Honestly, you don't know how I feel. I've been thinking about this whole kingship and trust me I cannot do it alone thank you father honestly I never had any intentions of ascending mm -hmm. the throne mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> not stop you do not question the gods Kelechi <laughs> ah. Kelechi For the gods are wise. You are my blood. You are my son. So what if you become king while I sit by <laughs> and support you? As your father. <laughs> Thank you, father. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I have your separate story. Are you serious? <laughs> I'm telling you. You know, it's. Greetings, my prince. Greetings, my friend. Greetings. My prince, you have a visitor. I have a visitor. It's not him. Oh, oh really? Yeah. Good day. Uh, <laughs> welcome. Uh, please sit. Thank you. How are you? Oh, How was your well, This is Kamsi, the maiden I told you about. Kamsi. Yes. Welcome, my darling. Thank you, my dear. How are you? Oh, we should get you something to drink. Yes. Now I know there is difference between. Knowing something and hearing about that same thing. That you heard something doesn't mean you know it. You what I've heard, to perceive what I've seen in this parlor. For oh, real? Yeah. You haven't seen that in years. <laughs> what was it? Thank you for the call. I really have to take it. It's amazing. I love it. Tell me about you. Tell me more about you. What else do you want to know about me? I've told you where I came from. My family history. In my education background. Your love life. You may not be sort of interested. 
No, I don't have this yet. Though I had a close friend in school, but we never got it yet. Mm. So I've not experienced love before. Why do you? Why do you ask? I really don't know. So because they like something catch you up in you. You're not just you know, like, you know, a door for smart and tell you I think that's why we love you, huh? So uh, I was just supposed to say you. Know, I'll do it. You don't have to. It's okay, it's okay. This program is very interesting. <laughs> Have you been following it? Uh, no, but uh, Kelechi seems to be following it. <laughs> Mom, I'll be in my room. Why did you open the door like that? Oh, I'm sorry. If I have not, you wouldn't have opened the door. Why are you avoiding me? Is it because you told me your mind? You know, I, I feel I'm taking advantage of you. I don't think so. I feel the same way the very moment I set my eyes on you. He caught my heart. Why did you do that? I had always wanted to do it. Sorry that I spent the night here. Okay. Let me go. No, 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 it's okay. It's okay, please, stay. Huh? Please. Come on. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> Get this 
some of these things. The reason why the reason why you can't get this. But I don't want to give you. Come on. Kelechi, father. You have been busy. Ah, of course, <laughs> father. Uh, walk with me. Uh, uh, you know, I cannot pretend that I have been seeing you. That beautiful lady. Oh, yes. Um, what is going on between you two and who is she? Huh? Father. Yes. Uh, I love her. You do? Yes, <laughs> I do. <laughs> love is a beautiful thing. Yes. <laughs> and Father, you know the coronation is coming up soon. Yeah, so I think I'll be presenting her to the elders as my future wife. <laughs> that <laughs> I see. Ah, uh, she's beautiful, uh, which is very obvious. Uh, and I must say that I have heard her from afar say a few things, and I can also tell you that she is quite intelligent. So she would not make a very bad choice for a wife. Now, I think the elders would be impressed. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for everything that I'm really grateful. You're welcome always, Kelechi. Huh? You can go. Let me not keep you happy. Oh, yes. Thank you, then. Yes. It is time. Hey, baby. Son. This sudden closeness with your father. I am beginning to become uncomfortable with it. Mom. Mom, when will you let go of the past and embrace the future? The future? Yes, Mom. What future are you talking about? Mom, that has changed. I'm going to help him so he, he does not keep feeling guilty for all the wrong he has done in the past. I come to think about it, Mom, he has apologized for all the wrong he did. Mom is your husband. I think it's high time you forgive him and let's go. 
so we can trust him again. My son, what an elder says sitting down. A child can never see, even if he climbs a miracle tree. You need to be very careful of your father. Please. You're the only thing that I've got. I need you to be careful, please. I don't want to lose you. Okay, Mom. Okay, okay. I will, Mom. I promise. I promise. I promise. Good. Please. Be careful, okay? Um, where's Kamsi? Oh, Kamsi. Uh, yeah. She should be in her room, I, I, I think. Uh, okay. uh, I hope she's fine. Yes. <laughs> We, the elders and kingmakers, have finalized every arrangement concerning your coronation. But what we don't know is if you have found a woman that will be your wife before that day. Yes, yes, I, I found a, a woman, a maiden of the kingdom that will be my wife. <laughs> Good. Can we see her? Yeah, sure. Please excuse me. My dear. My elders. Ah, someone. Please sit down. <laughs> Is that find that a wife? I said, <laughs> uh, my eldest, uh, this is Kamsi, oh, yes. and she's a maiden of this kingdom. <laughs> she's the one uh, that I've chosen to be my wife. Oh, you are welcome, Kamsi Yochuku. <laughs> Hell, in my man wine. Thanks, my eldest. is my heart to see how you get on with this beautiful woman. Huh? Uh, it is a rare privilege that I did not even enjoy when I was your age, but um, that is a topic for another day. From you? <laughs> huh? You are here already. Huh? And we're just gossiping. <laughs> I shall leave the both of you huh? to have your moment. Oh, Father. Huh? Yes. But I made you the whole food for all of us. Why not join us? Uh, maybe some other time. Uh, enjoy yourselves. I have a few things to do. Okay. Indoors. Huh? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Enjoy yourselves. Ah. Uh,
what are you talking about? I was just helping you accomplish a task that I paid you for that you failed at. What nonsense tax are you talking about? Now, let me ask you. Why are you so ruthless? Why do you want to kill your only son? Your own flesh and blood? Just because of your selfish desire. Just because of the throne. You want to take away the life of an innocent child. But no, I won't let that happen. Are you raising your voice at me? Have you suddenly forgotten who you're speaking to? Where you are? my prince. Oh, Mali Chamwa. How are you? I'm fine. You look beautiful, I must say. <laughs> Thank you, my prince. I am not a prince. Eh? I am a king. You call me a king. Eh? I am a king to be. Very soon I shall become the king. However, I will forgive you because I'll take it that you do not know. Eh? But you look like something that I have seen around before. Have we met? Not really. I've not been around. I just came back from youth service. Youth service? Aha. Because I know that I have not seen a beautiful maiden like you in this um, land. Youth service. So, can I be in Alona? Where do you work? What do you do? I'm job hunting. I'm hoping on God that soon something positive will come. Ha! Today is your lucky day because something positive has come up. I have something that fits your profile. Eh? Something that um, you'll be quite interested in. If you would get into the car so that we can drive to somewhere a bit more private and talk, I am sure that it's an offer that you'll take. Thank you. Thank you, my king. <laughs> Ah, uh, you see? Uh, that is why I have um, decided that I would give you this job. Because uh, my instinct tells me that you do it very well. My prince, my king, since we got here, we've been talking about jobs. So if I may ask, what kind of job is that? You know, if I wear your shoes, I'll be asking how much I'm getting for the job. I'm offering you a whooping two million naira to carry out a simple task. What? Two million. Two million? Yes. I give you half of it now, if you agree, and you get the balance at the completion of the job. So, my friend, sorry, my king, what will I do? What do you want me to do to get this money? Settle down. I have a son. His name is Kelechi. He is the prince because he's born into royalty. My son is single, willing to mingle and searching. I want you to seduce him. Get him to fall in love with you. And at the peak of your relationship with him, I want for you to poison him. It's that simple. Now, let me tell you something. I'm no longer interested in, in your little dirty plot. Kelechi is a good man. Yeah. And I love him. 
If you try to touch him, I'll kill you personally. <laughs> Uh, you don't think that it is too late for this? It might interest you to know that you can no longer back out of this deal I have paid you. Oh, that! I knew it would come to this. Give me a second. Here is your evil money! I mean the one you gave me to kill your son. But I couldn't because I love him. Soon I will become a queen and that's a big money. Uh, uh, hey. You can't do this. If you try this, if you try this, I'm going to expose you. I'm going to tell my son why you're here and how you got here in the first place. I'm going to tell him that I have paid you. Interesting. And I will tell your son that you contracted me to poison his food. But I couldn't because I love him. Try unless you win. We can do it. What a desperate prince. What a desperate prince. What a desperate prince. What a desperate prince. Very rude. <laughs> Very arrogant. Uh, what a desperate prince. Um, son, so what are your plans for tomorrow? Um, uh, nothing new. Just go with the elders as tradition demands. Okay. Take her to her parents' house and when we return, they will continue. Mm, okay. Oh, that, that's okay. That's fine. Um, where's your father? I haven't seen him all day. Same. I've not seen him as well today. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> but you're fine. I'm stressed. You'll be okay. And you know, I'm not used to this whole tradition. <laughs> <laughs> but you survived, not yes, to worry. Yes, yes. Well, thank you. Sleep. Hands on you. Because I have your hands on you. I've constantly tried to kill you for when you were born, and each time I try, I never succeed. You were born to rule, you were born. As the ordained king of this kingdom. My jealousy and envy of your destiny. Don't be doing evil acts. Get it. Get it. Huh? Huh? Put it to your heart to forgive me. Please forgive me. For you. Forgive me. I have hated you for too long. Huh?
Today's event has proven that the gods do not lie. Onyeruka of Funanya. We have come to fulfill the message of the gods. Today is exactly the 40 days that the gods have chosen to enjoy you. And on this day, you have faithfully fulfilled the obligations according to our tradition. Uh. <laughs> As we have accorded this land its maximum respect, the gods have also chosen to honor you this day. Yes. Odogu, atulewu. Onye like yagi, e like yanya. Onye like yagi. Papa Because you have the backings of our ancestor. Yes, yes. <laughs> So based on this, as many that are seated in this place today, they shall witness your coronation as Ezudo the third of Umuama. <laughs> People of Umuama, look what the gods have done. <laughs> the gods have sent you another powerful king. Let the coronation begin. <laughs> My friends, step forward. Kneel before me. By the power impact on me as the owner of this great kingdom, I hereby crown you the Ezudo Todd of Umuoma.
Onafo, Jukunafo.